Hello my dear friends, welcome back to Infia. Today in this video we are going to solve one very very interesting question from algebra. Here we have to solve x plus 1 times x plus 3 times 5x over 4 minus 1 times 5x over 2 plus 3 equal to 5. So let's get started by writing our equation x plus 1 times x plus 3 times 5x over 4 minus 1 times 5x over 2 plus 3 and right hand side is 5. Now we have 4 and 2 in the denominators and we want to skip those numbers. So I need to multiply here with 4. So here we will multiply by 2 as we have denominator 2. So in RHS I need to write times 4 times 2. Now we will write our equation x plus 1 times x plus 3 times 4 and 4 will be over. In bracket I will write 5x minus 4. 2 and 2 will be over. In the bracket we will write 5x plus 6 and RHS will be 40. Now I will rewrite our equation in this manner. I will consider x plus 3 times 5x minus 4 and then we will multiply x plus 1 with the bracket 5x plus 6. RHS is 40. Let's multiply these two and these two. So we will get 5x square minus 4x plus 15x plus 11x 3 times minus 4 minus 12. Here we will write 5x square 6x plus 5x 11x 1 times 6 is 6 equal to 40. Now you can see 5x square plus 11x, 5x square plus 11x. So let us say this is A. So I can write A minus 12 times A plus 6 equal to 40. A minus 12 times a plus 6 equal to 40 where a is 5x square plus 11x. So we will get one quadratic equation. Let's multiply. I will write a square 6a minus 12a. So minus 6a minus 72 equal to 40 or I can write a square minus 6a minus 112 equal to 0. Now we can apply factorization method. So I can see the factors of 1, 1, 2. So I can write here 14 times 8 which will give us 1, 1, 2 as a product and if I will subtract 14 from it I will get our middle coefficient minus 6. So I can split minus 6a as minus 14a plus 8a. Then we have minus 112 equal to 0. From first two terms we can take a common out. So a minus 14 will be in the bracket. From last two terms I can take 8 common out. So in the bracket we will get a minus 14 equal to 0. So we will get a minus 14 times a plus 8 equal to 0. So from product 0 rule we will be getting a equal to negative 8 and a equal to 14. Now a was 5x square plus 11x. Let us put 5x square 
plus 11x equal to minus 8 and 14. So I will consider two quadratic equations 5x square plus 11x equal to negative 8 and second equation would be 5x square plus 11x equal to 14. Now I can write 5x square plus 11x plus 8 equal to 0. This is our first quadratic equation which we will solve using quadratic formula. And if I will write our second equation, then I can write 5x square plus 11x minus 14 equal to 0. So we have to solve two quadratic equations. Let's solve one by one. 5x square plus 11x plus 8 equal to 0. So as per quadratic formula, we will write minus b plus minus a square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2 times a. So here I will write the value of a which is 5, value of b coefficient of x it is 11 and c is constant plus 8. So we will write x will be equal to minus 11 plus minus the square root of 11 square minus 4 times 5 times 8 divided by 2 times 5. So I can write here minus 11 plus minus the square root of 121 is the square of 11 minus 160 divided by 10 or we can write minus 11 plus minus 160 minus 121 would be 39. So we will write here minus sign over 10. Again we know that the square root of negative 1 is complex number i. So I can get x will be equal to minus 11 plus minus I will write a square root of negative 1 times a square root of 39 over 10. Now square root of minus 1 is i. So we will get our solutions minus 11 plus minus i times a square root of 39 over 10. So two complex solutions are here. Now we have to solve our second equation 5x square plus 11x minus 14 equal to 0. Let's apply quadratic formula as per equation capital A is coefficient of x square 5, b is coefficient of x 11, c is constant minus 14. So we will get x equal to minus 11 plus minus a square root of 11 square minus 4 times 5 times minus 14 divided by 2 times 5. Now we will write x equal to here it is. Now we have to simplify. I will write minus 11 plus minus a square root of 11 square is 121. Minus times minus becomes plus 20 times 14 280 divided by 10. Or I can write minus 11 plus minus a square root of 121 plus 280, 401 over 10. So we have got two real and two complex solutions. Let me write here our final answers. 
x will be equal to minus 11 plus minus square root of 401 over 10 to real solutions. Now we will write complex solutions minus 11 plus minus i times square root of 39 over 10 to complex solutions. I hope friends you will like this video. Thank you so very much for watching. Do not forget to subscribe our channel. Bye bye till next video. Good luck. Take care. Bye bye.